Good morning grade 8 and welcome to quarter 3 and I hope you enjoy this quarter inshallah. Let us discuss first what's, what we're gonna study this quarter. This quarter we're gonna study the rest of the body systems that we have taken in grade 7. So we gonna, uh, we're gonna study the digestive system and the excretory system and the nervous system and the endocrine system and the last one the reproductive system and the stages of pregnancy so we're gonna study all of these systems so let's start with the first one which is the digestive system first to know what is this system you have to know the function of this system what does it do actually the digestive system comes from its word it's used to digest food but its its function is not as simple as that to to only digest food and transfer the food into small products and so on no it's it's not that uh, simple actually the digestive system has very important role it can use the nutrients from food to give us energy and help us in growth and also maintenance of all the body process and repair of any broken or heart or misfunction in each and every process in your body so it's very important for your growth for your maintenance of all the good functions and all the processes that happens in your body and also for the repair if your bones are, uh, are broken or if you have heart in your skin and so on so without the digestive system or if there's a dysfunction in the digestive system of course this will affect you badly because you will not have energy to do your work uh, uh, to walk to talk and so on to, 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 to do all the functions and also it will affect your gross and this is very bad and you will not be able to maintain all your body functions and there will be no repair because the nutrients that comes from the, the food are no longer available so the digestive system is very important due to the nutrients that give us the energy and the gross and maintenance and repair so i told you in the beginning digestives mean digest which means breaking down food so we have to break down the bulky food, the raw material of the food, into small pieces to be easily absorbed by the blood. Because only the small molecules of the food or the, the nutrients are, the absor are easily absorbed through the blood, so we can make use of them for energy and gross and maintenance and repair. We cannot make use of this bulky food as it. We have to break it down and digest it during uh, eating so and this is what actually the digestive system do it digests the food to make use of it for all the important functions that I have mentioned actually we have two types of digestion we have mechanical digestion and chemical digestion what's the difference between them mechanical include movement so mechanical include the movement of your mouth and teeth so mechanical means crushing and breaking down or mashing the food while chemical includes a chemical it does not involve any movement but it involves a chemical that is allow the food to be broken down so they can easily pass through the bloodstream so the chemical digestion in include uh, a chemical which is called an enzyme so an enzyme is a chemical that breaks down the food of uh, the, 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 the large molecules of food into smaller molecules it is called enzyme okay now we will take the parts of the digestive system let's have a look at this photo this is the parts of the digestive system okay it starts with uh, it starts with the mouse and the mouse there it happened mechanical and chemical digestion takes place mechanical because we move the food inside the mouth and chemical because there is a saliva inside the mouth and this saliva is considered as an enzyme that breaks down the food into a small pieces so when the mouse do chemical and me 
mechanical digestion, the food is moved down through the esophagus that was a long, that is a long tube that connects between the mouth and the stomach and the, the food moves down through the esophagus through squeezing by a process called peristalsis. So moving down the food through the esophagus is happened through a process called peristalsis, which means the squeezing of the tube to move the food down to the stomach. So here the food is in the stomach. The stomach is a muscular bag. What's meant by muscular bag? Which means that the stomach is made up of a muscle and it's a form in the form of a bag. So it's a muscular bag. Okay? Okay. And actually inside the stomach, the food is totally crushed and uh, crushed more and more because the stomach contains acids and enzymes that break down the food more and more. So, the food in the stomach is no longer called food, it's called chyme, chyme. So, the food will move or the chyme will move from the stomach into the small intestine. This chyme is a mushy mix of food that will pass from the stomach to the small intestine. And then from the small intestine, okay, which is a muscular tube where most of the chemical digestion takes place, Neutrons will be absorbed to the blood. Most of the neutrons, okay? Most of the neutrons will be absorbed through the blood from the small intestine. And then, in the large intestine, water and neutrons and the rest of the neutrons are also absorbed. And the unusable uh, materials and waste will leave from the large intestine through the excretory system, okay? So this is the part of the digestive system and this is a small intro about the digestive system and we will continue the digestive system and how all the neutrons are absorbed through it. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this session.